Before I start the video, I'd like to thank Salad.io for sponsoring this video. Salad is a mind app with big dreams. Salad enables users to make real money at the push of a button using graphical power in a safe manner. With Salad, you can check your daily earning rate as well as your lifetime rate. Salad has an abundance of features varying from XP, machines and leaderboards, all the way up to smart stats and simple dashboards. Use Salad and earn amazing prizes such as gift cards, gaming gear, and even subscriptions. Use code DLG for double earning boost on sign up. I genuinely believe this company has potential. It's a great idea and you guys should definitely check them out. Link in description. Alright, this is going to be a cooks or pinch tutorial. Now, I've been doing cooks or pinches for ever since Jazer made that cooks pinch tutorial like two years ago now. I'll put that up on screen. But that's when I started doing them. And I use his method on one wall and on the right wall I use Cookser's method. Which this is Jazer's method. That's Jazer's method. He kind of just does like a little bit of an air roll then he flips directly into the ball. Which gives it just about as much power as the right wall method. I'm about as consistent with both. So, And then the Cookser method I'm going to explain this on how to do this, and I also have a training pack, but the cookster method is more of like, you push it towards the wall with an angle, and then you kind of turn your car to the left because you're on the right wall, and then you front flip. Now some people don't flip, some people have their own little method of like cooks pinching. There is such thing as like a backwards cooks pinch, which is like, pre it's pretty much that right there, that's a backwards cooks pinch. So there, there's like different methods of cooks pinching, but this video I'm going to explain on how to do, I've made a training pack on this, which is right here, and I'm going to upload it now. It is in the description, but this training pack is not easy to master, because there are some weird angle cooks pinches. This is actually, I think, called the Azrael pinch, like the one from the corner. I've almost got it down, but it's super hard. If I don't get one in this recording, I'll just put a clip up on screen of me getting it because it is possible with every car and the clip will probably be with octane just to show you can do with octane but i've done it with breakout multiple times i've done it with dominus and obviously all the other cars can do it but this pinch it's so unexpected i feel like if someone were to get super consistent at it it would be so p and comp or it's like 1v1s there i got it now th those pinches can go just as fast as the wall pinches which is can go 160 kilometers an hour at some points but that's how you do that pinch. It's pretty much how you do the the spin is I use X because that's the arrow I use. I only use arrow right for like stalling for the most part. But you just turn your car directly sideways. Like if you were to land on the side of your car. And then you, you the front left corner for the left wall is where you want to hit the ball. Okay, I failed. I can't see it. But you want to hit it with the front left corner of your car. And then if you do it just right and flip at the right time, it should go in like I just went in before. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a weird touch and it'll go in. But that's how you normally do it. And I'd recommend to put it as close to this part of the wall corner as possible. Just so that you have more room to mess up. Because the closer you are over here the less angle you're going to have to score it. Which not saying it's impossible, but it's definitely not going to be easy. So I recommend having it behind the boost pad if you want to try to go for this pinch. Now by no means I'm consistent, but it's something I can hit every once in a while. So it's a pinch that you can definitely get 100% consistent at, like Cookser and Jays are doing the wall. But this is still an early development of like being discovered. So I'll just leave it at that. And then the, uh, the second shot in the training pack is also just the same thing. Just with a different... Uh, you know different side you can do that that's something that's really really hard to do and I do the same method I do on the left wall which you just turn your car the opposite way and try to hit it with the front right corner of your car because you're on the right wall and then we also have the ground pinch which I know Jazer, Fusher, uh, all the like the Pulse members and do a lot of these and these are super hard to get consistent because there's no way to really practice them other than actually getting it so I've tried to make the best way to practice these which is all about like getting on top of the ball you like jump down okay first of all you jump you kind of lean your front down and then you flip into the ball and if you do it right I'll wait if you do it right there that's a pinch see how much power and height that got from that little bit of like space and how much momentum I had that's a ground pinch those are super effective and super hard to save I'll get one more there that's another one this training pack 
will definitely help on your grunt pinches. It's not easy. I'm still not consistent at it, but this will definitely help. It's all about timing and getting it down. There's another one. That was a super fast one. That was a speedy boy. Ground pinching is definitely like super hard to do, but it's super effective. I'd recommend to learn this one too. And then the other one, just a different angle. You got to wait a little bit longer and then you got a ground pinch. That wasn't a ground pinch. There's one. Ah, that was kind of just a little pop. That wasn't a ground pinch. Wasn't a ground pinch. That was a ground pinch. I failed. It, depending on how you hit it and the uh, speed of the ball. Like, this is coming at you. So, you're just completely uh, changing the direction of the ball. But this is something extremely hard. This one. Because you got to time it more than the other one. You just kind of like, the other one's timed for you. It's kind of like you hit the ground and you just do everything in a speedy manner. This one, you got to time it more. Eh, that was an alright pinch. But I'll leave that one at that. This is something that's super hard to do too. Like I said, this training pack is not going to be easy. Especially for newer players. But when you're a newer player, it's definitely good to learn the hard mechanics. Because if you learn the hard mechanics, the easy mechanics will be easier for you. And then of course, you got the classic Cook's Pinch. Which is just the classic Cook's Pinch. I'll explain this one more time. You should get like one touch on the ball. Like decent speed. Like about like that. And then I'd say, don't hit, I'm not going to hit the ball, but you like lean to a point when your car is not directly sideways, not like that, but more like that, about like that angle right there. And you want your front corner to hit it first, at least in breakout. Then you front flip into it, or front corner flip, or like side flipping, side flipping works too, but I don't feel like it uh, generates as much power when you front flip. You get a lot of power. See that? That was the difference between a side flip and a front flip. And a front corner flip is about the same. It's in between. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the same speed every time. The fastest cook bench I've ever hit in a training was 149. And the fastest cook bench I've ever hit in game was 149. I've never broke 150 yet. Uh, I've been trying, but it's definitely something hard. And then, I'd say for this one. This is just the Jazer method, I call it. You just air roll your card like on its side pretty much and you want the front left corner on this left wall if you do it on the right wall you want the right corner to do it so you want to angle your car more like that if you do it like that on the air roll but if you do it on the left you want your front left corner to hit it pretty much the headlight of the car because the very front is like cosmetic if you look it's like going to the ground so you want the front headlight the front left headlight to hit it here turn your car sideways and just front flip into it now you're not going to get it every time because you're not going to get it perfect on the ball or per the perfect spot on the ball every time. But this training pack will definitely help on accuracy and precision. That's way too high. But at one point, I was so consistent. I think I got like 12 in a row on left wall. And But at the time, I could not do the right wall at all. For some reason, for the longest time, I could only do left wall. So if you start learning the cook's pinch and you can only do it on one wall, don't feel like you will never be able to do it on the other wall. It just might take time. And then this one's definitely not, like, it's useful, but it's not the most important, I'd say. This one is like a, it's rolling towards the other side and you try to change the momentum. This is something that's like, don't, that doesn't happen very often, but it can definitely happen. Like right there. Like, let's say they're coming at you for a challenge and you cook pinch it. That would have got him past them. And they cannot turn back fast enough to save that. Even though it is going only 67, they cannot turn around fast enough and save that if they're coming at you at a challenge. And the same thing for the right wall. You can either do the arrow method or, like I do, just the normal cooks method. Which a normal cook, cook, eh, cooks or method would probably work best. But I learned two different ways, and that's how that is. All to get this shot. But this training pack should definitely help on all kinds of pinches. Because let's say you, you're just like in the back. Like and you have no boost and you just need to pinch it. Just pinching it out and having a little bit of a, like, a break would definitely help in the game. It's not only like a fancy mechanic. It's also just a useful like clear mechanic or like pass mechanic. You know. So it's definitely useful. Um, I feel like this... Like, people getting super consistent at pinching could be the future of Rocket League, especially, like, the corner pinch. It could be unexpected. Like, I've seen ceiling pinches before. I've seen, like, ground pinches that went over 130 kilometers an hour, which is, like, 80 miles an hour uh, if you're an MPH. Um, it just... Pinches could definitely, I feel, be the future of Rocket League. And if you want the code, it's right there. 8299A9EA8A1E1. 
1795. It will be in the description. And um, if you have any other uh, recommendations for tutorials, let me know down in the comments, and I will try to get it done as soon as possible. If it's something that I've already done, I'll tell you in the comments. I'll try to reply. I try to reply to everyone. Like I said in the last video, if you want to talk to me personally, add my Instagram, which is dlg.rl, and if you want to talk to me in uh, a different way and you don't have Instagram, use Discord, which is dlg, uh, all lowercase, hashtag 0838, and if I don't get to you in a couple days, that's because I'm busy. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other, if you have any other recommendations, let me know down in the comments. And yeah.